Well, everybody, it is 6.51, the 26th, or the 22nd of April. Excuse me. Well, pray you guys are all, you know, if you're awake, your eyes are open, God bless each and every one of you. I know a lot of the people that cannot see or understand, it's because of sin. Yes, and and it's, you know, I would uh, I know I was dead in sin when I had my eyes opened up, and I was told, you know, that I needed to change, <coughs> and uh, I did. But anyhow, you guys, um, I'm gonna go over a few things. A lot of a lot of people don't want to hear this, but this is what's happening. It's sin, okay, and God's gonna deal with it. He's gonna deal with it, you know, one way or the other. It's gonna be dealt with. Um, I believe we're right at the end of this, you guys. We don't have much more time for this to go on. Anyhow, I can see one little white chemtrail going where the sun's going to be rising. The sun's not even up yet. It looks like it, but it's not. It looks like I got light around me, but it's not. Okay, I'm going to start off right here, you guys. Uh... Awesome thing, you guys, the truth. People can read the Bible for themselves. I would highly suggest that, especially people that have been involved in uh, remarriage, getting married again. I would highly suggest that you read about marriage, what Jesus said about marriage. Okay? Not the Old Testament. Don't deceive yourself. Read what Jesus said. Okay? Now, there's people out there, they may have had cheating spouses. Remember, this is spiritual. You could have cheated, cheating spouses, man. And you just met somebody and, you know, hopefully things went well from there, you know. But, uh, you yeah, know, I do know it says for fornication, people can. I'm mentioning it again because I think it needs to be. All right, you guys, I'm going to start off right here. Galatians 6.1. Brothers, if a man be overtaken in a fault, you which are spiritual. See how it says spiritual? You know, not carnal. You know, you got a lot of people in the pulpit, man. They've been married, remarried. And they, they don't even read scripture and acknowledge it themselves. But you got to remember, this is spiritual. And a lot of them, um, you got devils and stuff that have entered into the pulpits a long time ago. A long time ago. To harvest as many souls as they can for Satan, you know? This is what's happening. Alright? Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burden, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself and not in another. You know, that's why, like in the Hebrews, they said, you know, like Paul was talking about how they wanted you to be circumcised so they could rejoice in your circumcision, you know. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. This is where people choose, you know, Satan is all about the carnal and God's spirit. Okay? And you guys, I'm going to tell you, man, when I was living dead in sin, I wasn't considering or even thinking spiritual like I do now. Got my car warming up right now. That's why I see that smoke back there in that rearview mirror. Supposed to be in the 80s today. Then 
you know, three or four days of the 80s, and then it drops down in the 60s. All right, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. <coughs> Galatians 6.11 Seeing how large a letter I have written unto you with my own hand, as many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised, only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For neither they themselves, who are circumcised, keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. That's what I was trying to get to. I'm also going to be talking about you guys. Yes, through Christ, man. Christ came to free us from the burden of the law. But And if you abide in him and do what he says in obedience, because you're doing one or the other. You're either obeying him in obedience or you're um, sinning. You're living in sin. And, you know, law, the law is for people who choose to live in sin. Yeah, you can repent, you know, but if you continue wanting to live in sin, you know, he'll send you strong delusions to believe the lies. Why do you think there's so many people out there that can't see? You know, every, you know even these little chemtrails everywhere, they're doing them, you know? There they are right there. They're just, they're busy little, like little bees. All right. But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but a new creature. You know, that's why he said follow him. You know, you know his apostles, his disciples, they followed him. Now, they laid their lives down following him. Most of these people ain't following him at all. They say they do, but they don't. You know, we're supposed to be in the Word daily, all the time. You know, walking by the way. This is all we're supposed to be talking about and doing. You know, and he provides our needs, what we need here. And uh, we're past all that now, man. It's exceedingly wickety wickety, and it's going to get worse. As many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel, okay? For henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Galatians 5.16 this I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Okay, remember we're this is spiritual warfare. You're still in corruptible flesh. That's why we have to do this daily. Because otherwise, man, he'll creep in unaware creep in unaware man and start laying down stepping stones Romans seven seventeen. now then it is no more I that do it but sin that dwelleth in me for I know that in me that's in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil that I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. 
but I see another law in my member, born against the law of my mind, bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Remember how it said in scriptures how Satan took you captive at will? Yeah, you know, he's got lots of them. There's many of them here, man. If you'd be shocked to know how many there are, you know. And that's why they said they took you captive at will. But see, now when your obedience is fulfilled, you'll take them captive. And he knows each and every one of us. This is what's going on. But some people want to be stubborn. And they want to hold on to some of their sin. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who will deliver me from this body of death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God. But with the flesh, the law of sin. Jesus, now this is me. Jesus Christ came to turn us from this darkness to the light, to the truth. John 15, 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself. In other words, if you're walking around here in this world without Christ in you, you can't bear any fruit whatsoever. You're, you're like you're drying up. You know, the enemy knows that. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. You notice in the end when they grab the vine of the earth, <coughs> it gets cast into the wine press. Jesus is the vine from above. Then there's those that are manifesting into the vine of the earth and those that are manifesting into God into obedience. Christ, the vine from above. John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and he's withered, and men gather them, and they cast them into the fire, and they are burned. <coughs> 1 John 3, 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he uh, will appear, we will be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Every man that has this hope in him, he purifies himself, even as he is pure. Whoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. Okay? That's why I say, that's why a lot of people can't see. Right now they're blind. They're not really abiding in him. You know? And they're still living in their sins. They're not willing to come to the knowledge of the truth. You know? And if you notice, well, let me finish reading. Whoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither knows him. Guys, the mockers, these are uh, devils, okay? It's not them, but what's, what's driving them. They, they got different types of evil spirits in them. That's why they come against us like they do. It's just what they got in them, you know? You can tell them. You can tell by what they do. They don't share the truth in anything. There is no truth in them. Okay, they're liars, they're deceivers. What we're seeing today, where people are not seeing, is from those who are still in the world. And they're walking in sin. Many are not heeding the teachings of Jesus Christ. I went over these a few days back. Many still wanting to uh, do things their way. Guns. You know, that's not the Lord's way. All right. There's a lot of things, guys, okay? Look at how much blindness there is in this world. It's, it's, it's infested, man. I mean, infested. 
For you are dead and your, and your life is hid in Christ and God. Okay? It's hid with Christ in God. That's what I'm saying. You don't, you know, you're not going to want to be a part of this. That's why it says, come out of her, my people, lest you suffer her plagues. Okay? <laughs> I hear some people saying, oh, my friends this, my friends that. They're all trying to get me to, you know, still do this. All my friends, you know. But they're not your friends. You know, this is spiritual, what you're going through. A lot of people can't, can't come to this knowledge. These are vessels. You know, it's our temple. You know, that's why you're not supposed to defile it. You know, and a lot of people are doing it and they don't even know it. You are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. All right. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, ordinance, affection, evil conspicuous, covetousness, which is idolatry. You guys, there's a lot, okay? This ain't even all of them. For which things sake the wrath of God? It comes on the children of disobedience. Many were called, but few were chosen. Guys, some people might still see and know what's coming, but they, they're still very much of this world. In which you also walk sometimes, when you lived in them. John 17, 25. This is Jesus. O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou lovest me may be in them, and I in them. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Galatians 4, 5. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth his spirit of his son in your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Romans 2, 12. For as many have sinned without the law, shall also perish without the law. For as many have sinned in the law, shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Romans 2.14 For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, see the Gentiles, they, they don't know what the law is. Not at all. all right, they never did know. But they walked in obedience, not even knowing. They just did what was right. Okay? That's why it's not difficult. You know, if you got evil spirits in you, you're not going to be doing what's right. You're going to be doing what, and who is it? Well, you guys, Romans 2.14. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, they do by nature the things contained in the law. These, having not the law, they're a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts. Their conscience also bearing witness to their thoughts. The meanwhile, a, a, cur, a, a cursing or else excusing one another. All right, now this is me. Those who say they believe in the Lord and do not his will and still want to justify sin in their lives because they really are not obeying him and are really obeying the devil still. They never died to this world, and they were agents of evil, as scriptures warned you. 2 Corinthians eleven twelve. But what I do, that I will do. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off the occasion from them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory, they may be found as we, 
For such are false apostles, they're deceitful workers. They transform themselves into the apostles of Christ. Don't marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it's no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. All right, this is me. Excuse me, let me get a drink. Uh, uh. Guys, the enemy's everywhere. This is spiritual, what we're going through right now. It's all spiritual. Got a lot of them all around us, man. Only by reading these scriptures are you going to understand why few make it. They love the lies and were always of the world and they loved what's in it. James 4.4 4, You adulterers and adulteresses. Now you notice what it starts off with? Adulterers and adulteresses. Go back in scriptures and read about marriage. See what they say about adulterers and adulteresses. Okay, go back and read it. Marriage, look it up for yourself. So you're not thinking, I'm throwing stones. I'm only here trying to warn people. You know, and if people are living in this lifestyle like that, they can still come out from it and still be friends like brothers and sisters. And, you know, unless they're unequally yoked, one's really going to be extremely horrible about it. You know, and if they are, then it's not the Spirit of God that's resting in but something else. This is all over now. This is all coming to an end, man. This would be a good time to get right and start learning to live right in the spirit. Because those lustful thoughts will be gone anyhow. But read it for yourself so I don't have to. I've, I've done it already, but it's better if you read it for yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Christ didn't come to make a, uh, a cloak for that. That's why it starts off, you adulterers and adulteresses. Know you not that the friendship of the world is an amenity with God. Okay? And whoever is going to be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. You notice it starts out like that, you adulterers and adulteresses. Now go to marriages and see what it says about that. It says the same thing. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. Why do you think the divorce rate and the marriage rate is so high today? Man, I'm only saying this because I care. Alright. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there because I got to... So I hope you guys receive something out of this. And like I said, you know, I'm not here trying to get the biggest channel. I'm just here to try to get the truth out. People that want the truth will hear it. People that don't, won't. You know? It's the truth. I'll be heading out in about 15 minutes. Wow, that was weird up there. This right there looked like something blue with with wings. <coughs> this is the world we live in, you guys. It's spiritual, man. When we're changed, as he is, wait till you see what's all around you. There's a lot more going on around you than you really know. Now, a whole lot more. Lord, open my eyes to this. Uh, 2014, sometime. You know, and I, and I was, I thought I was going insane at first. You know, but then I got a lot of stuff given to me and shown to me to understand. And it's still, I still don't fully know, but I know a lot. I've been shown a lot. And I know those mockers and stuff, those are evil spirits, demonic. That's all they are. You know, if they don't change, you know, if they don't fight and resist it, whatever's got control of them. They're full of hate. A lot of hate. 
that's the they hate us we serve it I'm not saying what I about the things that I'm saying because I want to see people like that I'm saying it because I want to see people uh, free you know I want to see them come with us I want to see them get out of here I don't want to see them left behind for the things that are coming on this earth. You know, it's going to be horrible. We're going to be seeing a lot of it. And you, some people still have that opportunity. You know, as long as we're still here, there's always that opportunity. His mercy, His love, His grace, it's, it's abundant, you know. But you got to realize um, stubbornness, it's not, a, it's not always you, but the Spirit. That's why it says, um, you know, when your obedience is fulfilled, you'll bring every thought captive and you'll surrender these things. You'll let go of these things. Okay, let me see where am I at? 26 minutes. All right, you guys. I love each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you receive a message from this. Please read those scriptures for yourself because I'm not going to candy coat it here for anybody. I'm not going to candy coat it. And uh, read it for yourself. And that's why I didn't reread it again. Because you need to read it. And you need to examine yourself. I can't. I'm just giving you scriptures. Jesus didn't come here to make a cloak for sin. He came to make a way to get us out of here. You know, he came and he overcame. And he said, follow me. You know, it's like somebody came here and you're going to drive following behind somebody driving behind somebody, somebody drives all the way to get you, then all of a sudden you start wanting to go your way. You know, and he's going, I came here to show you the way. Yeah, why don't you follow me? Well, I thought I could take a shortcut and get over here, and I thought I, because I didn't think you really knew where you were going. You know? And we're, this is spiritual. Why do you think at the end, in the book of John, when, uh, when, uh, he came up to and they all came up. He said, throw your nets on the right side. And they did, and they caught 153. And then they, he turns around and he tells them, uh, when they came on the land, they said, they didn't recognize the guy. They didn't recognize him. That's because he was in a different body. And they said, but they knew it was the Lord. They knew it was the Lord by everything. They spent three and a half years with him. Everywhere they went, they knew him. You know, they knew him. When he spoke, they knew him by what came out of his mouth, came from his heart. They knew him. Okay? Why do you think, uh, you know, and they said they didn't dare ask who he was because they knew him. And they listened to him. And then he even told him, he asked uh, Peter, do you love me? You know, Peter was answering him like, you know that I do, Lord. And he asked him three times. Why did he ask him three times? Because he denied him three times. And it hurt him the third time. It was like, <laughs> only the Lord would have done this. You know, and he wanted him to know that he is. I am who I am. You know, and they knew it. You guys, don't let people mislead you and lead you down that wrong path. You know? It's like he said, his, what he wants of us, it's not hard. It's really, it's easy. It's the flesh where the devil is constantly trying to get us down those fleshly desires. You know? Let him go. Let him go. God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.